Okay, more Porsche fun today. Shift button will not pull in and disengage. Now, there's another way to do, even with the foot on the brake, it's not doing it. Um, what happens is there's a little pawl inside that pulls up on the shift, on the mechanism to allow it to be moved in and out of gear. And this one's not working. <laughs> so, um, there, you can take the whole console out and be able to shift it by pulling on the little release lever up front, but don't bother. Uh, there's a quick, easy way to do this. Um, and I'm gonna show you how. Anyway, um, take the collar. There's a little collar. See this little chrome collar on the very bottom? You're gonna turn that counterclockwise until you can lift your shifter up. How much you have to turn it counterclockwise, that depends, but just turn it till you lift it up. Now look under here. <laughs> this button is not moving. Let's slide this off. So we can lift this button and you'll see I have this apart so I know exactly what's wrong with it. Let me get my finger under the button. So if you can see underneath, oy, can you see in there? Probably not. Inside there, there's a metal uh, tongue. It's the T-shaped thing. Focus. That T-shaped thing. Anyway, when you push on the button, it lifts this. And the little finger, I don't know where it went. <laughs> when I pulled the shift knob off, it came bouncing out. I saw it, it's about this long, it's got a hook on it, and it hooks onto this and pulls it up in order to shift. So, essentially, if you wanna drive, you have to just be careful, do two hands. I'm gonna do it one-handed just because I'm filming and showing you. Pull up, and you can shift. Right, that unlocks it, and you can shift. You don't wanna be putting pressure on this plastic arm. You do that, you're gonna be causing a whole world of hurt for yourself. So, oh, where's that little collar? Let's make sure that stays back on here. And for now, I'm gonna have to find myself a uh, replacement shift knob. And when you put the new shift knob on, do not push the button with the shift knob off. I cannot stress that more. Do not push the button with the shift knob off because it will, it's supposed to be out here. It will lock itself in here and you will not be able to get it on. And if you try to force it on, it will break internally. There's a little reset mechanism uh, that will reset it so that it is out here. So it will slide on and the little arm will go past that hook on. And when you push the button the first time, it will pop in, engage and be able to pull up and down. So if you're getting a new shift knob for whatever reason, do not push the button until it is on the shifter and locked in. Anyway, this is the way to shift it if you can't um, without removing the whole console. Um, anyway, uh, it's two seconds to remove this and it does make it easier if you just use your finger and slide the cover on the back off and twist the collar counterclockwise about 45 degrees, 30 to 45 degrees, depends. Just keep putting gentle pressure pulling up while you're turning it and it will pop out. Thanks for watching. Okay, I managed to hold it with a screwdriver. You can see that. You can see where that's broken off. That is the little pole, like I said, that grabs on. It's, it's got a little hook on it. It's about the length that would have been from where it's broken off down to the bottom. I don't know, about another centimeter long. And it pulls up. And it's not going to do that when it's broken off. And there's no way to fix that. Just need another shifter. Used one? Fine. Don't care. As long as it works. Anybody got one, <laughs> let me know. I'm uh, on Facebook Marketplace looking for parts cars right now. Thanks for watching.